People and organizations are recognizing February as Black History Month in all kinds of ways. And for one local business, it's all about the evolution of black hair. Yeah, Toy New Size Alexandra Rios introduces us to the three sisters who have tapped into the beauty industry. From box braids to dreadlocks and afros, many iconic hairstyles can be found in this beauty supply store, The Hair High. But the thing that sets us apart from other beauty supply stores is that number one, we're, we're black owned, number two, we're women owned, number three, we're family owned, and on top of all of that, we have the knowledge of the product. During Black History Month, three sisters, Brianna Laney, Danielle, and Lauren Jackson have combined their passion of hair and taken videos to create content on platforms like TikTok, to educate the community. Come on. Honey, see you. It's really important to us um, because we are black and we are the first black owned beauty supply store here in Buffalo. So um, it's really important to let our community know that we're here as well and we're a part of history. And this year's theme is Basta. Because in this industry, you know, it's a it's a term to be a boss <laughs> for, for a female. So um, that's our feature and you know females in the beauty industry that have really, you know, changed the game pretty much. The first person that they feature is Sarah Spencer. Madam Washington, as she was widely known, was a millionaire black and she really, and you know, changed the game. She started her own beauty company. She started Apex College and she had over 35,000 workers um, while she was doing that company. All month long, they are featuring black men and women who have tapped into the beauty industry and become millionaires or made their mark in history just like we are hoping to make our mark in history and in the community. Last year, they dove into the history of hair and different things people didn't know about it. One of the most popular videos that we had was when people learned that um, back in the slave trade, people used to transport rice in their hair over to uh, different countries, and that's how rice came over to the United States. The sisters say they want these conversations to continue. So it does not get forgotten and it does not get lost. So that's why it's so important for us to continue that and and just know, you know, our roots and where we come from and things like that, especially being black women in the beauty industry. The sisters also have a nonprofit called Learning Lab to help young women learn how to do hair, like what we just saw in those videos, braiding, weaving. They even teach them on how to do a business plan. So when they come out of the program, they will have the essentials to start one. In the studio, Alexandria's Channel 2 News.